manners is what it comes down to. Okay, let's talk a little bit about this making music, right? Um, You're a musician, bass player? Uh, That was my first (laughs) instrument, yeah. Bass player led into keys, guitar, flute. All that. Okay. All that stuff. So here's what I want you to walk me through here. You know, I want you to talk about this idea. You start off as musician, you become a DJ, then producer. It seems like they all kind of, you know, DJ, producer, kind of. Wait. Uh, explain. DJ never happened. DJ never happened. Okay. Musician, rapper. Okay, you were a rapper. Producer. Okay. And um, yeah, I never was a DJ in the sense that I mixed records and Mm -hmm. played other people's music, you know? Mm -hmm. My first show as a producer, which, you know, an audience member looking up on stage, Mm -hmm. seeing a guy with a table and some computers, it's like, they don't know if you're DJing or making music from scratch, you know? That's one of the sort of problems with electronic music as a performance art, Mm -hmm. is that it has not evolved to a point where people can really get a sense of how you are interfacing and manipulating your music. And, and that's something that really needs to be pushed. But what uh, was your question again? Okay, well, we'll come back. Well, that was, uh, <laughs> that was about the whole DJ <laughs> producer. But it's interesting you should mention that whole thing. I've been going to big rock shows my whole life for forever um, as a fan and as, and as a professional. And I went to the uh, Hard Music Festival last year with my oldest son, Matt, who introduced me to you guys. And, of course, I got passes and all that stuff. <clears throat> and, of course, he dropped me like a fucking brick at the door as soon as he got in. He's but I, dead. But I remember watching a couple of the bands on the, uh, the acts on the main stage. And it was a lot of lights going on. It was a lot of activity going on. But I couldn't really sense the performance side of it. You yeah. know? And, and I, and I kind of was in my mind's eye wishing that they had some overhead cam so I yeah. could get a sense of... Are they, are they like glorified cheerleaders or is something happening in the moment versus just hitting a button? Talk about that. Did I bump you, you out there? No, you, you struck the nerve of EDM. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's the thing that all these main stage DJs want to hide. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? It, it, it is, in a sense, you know, I think a lot of glorified cheerleading. You know what I mean? It's like... I personally, you know, when I first started, I said, I'm never going to play another artist's track, Mm -hmm. which, you know, can be interpreted ways in different ways. I mean, Mm -hmm. obviously I make Led Zeppelin Mm -hmm. remake. I Mm -hmm. I made a Led Zeppelin remix. Mm -hmm. That's another artist's track, but it's my own take take on it. You know what I mean? So everything I play is I've, I've produced in some way and it's been a difficult journey trying to devise ways to to get that performance element really in there, but to at the same time rock a party. So it's like there's these two these two priorities, like being a, a musician and a performer, and 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 rocking a party and making everyone in the crowd go nuts. And it's like I feel like you really have to to balance that and. And I've become much more interested in focusing on the um, manipulation and improvisation element, which doesn't exist in EDM, you know, as much as I hope it will in the future. Well, I'm glad to see I'm not the only guy that's identified, because truthfully, a lot of it, I thought, was just my own, you know, years of just looking at concerts and performances where there was that live element. And and by the way, EDM isn't the first group of people that have figured out drugs and music go together and party and all that. (laughs) Um, You know, um, shocking that I would know a little something about that. But there was always that something's happening in the moment. Is somebody going to miss the note? Are they going to, you know, fuck something up? And that that immediacy is what made it so special being there. You You felt like they were doing it for you that night. You need to have the potential to to fuck it all up. Yeah. Yeah.